My name is Lucas, it starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both, and in the meantime, I'm gonna tell you how I went from this failed print four times in a row to this masterpiece of a 3D printer test in this case, with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle using my Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. Long story short, I don't want to waste any of your time. It is all done in the 0.2 millimeter nozzle setting in Bamboo Studio. Then you go into the G code and you change these specific settings specifically related to the textured PEI plate. I don't know why it worked. I don't know how it worked, but it worked. Okay, quick clarification, uh, this was all recorded yesterday and today I of course decided to update Bamboo Studio to 2.0 and I realized that all these settings had actually completely changed. So these changes that you saw here in the machine G code was for the previous version of Bamboo Studio, but if you have updated to Bamboo Studio 2.0, then the settings are the same, but the location to where you actually access this machine G-code is a little bit hidden actually. It's hidden right up here next to the printer you have chosen. And then inside here just make sure that you are choosing the correct nozzle and then head over to machine G-code and that is where you can make these settings. And for your convenience I have actually already copied and put everything down in the description below. So all you have to do is to just paste it in there and just replace this minus zero point 0 0.02 with positive 0 0.06 in order to change these settings and hopefully being able to save some of your precious 0 0.2 millimeter prints as well. One more disclaimer as well before we continue with yesterday's recording is that some of you might have already realized that I've actually changed some other settings in the settings here as well, mainly when it comes to the layer height, the overall printing speed, the nozzle temperature and also the flow ratio. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more later in this video as well but basically I just read through every kind of a forum or, or support uh tickets that I could find online and I tried to change every single one of these settings and, and nothing helped. Um, someone recommended that I should increase the nozzle temperature to, to 240 degrees. I tried that. It, it didn't work. And the only thing that literally took the print from uh, whatever you call this to uh, this final result was only after I went into the machine G code and I changed this one setting. With that, I think we're gonna continue with the recording I made yesterday, but as always, if you do have any questions, please do leave them down in the comment section and I will do my absolute best to get back to you as soon as I can. That is literally everything that you're gonna learn from this video. I'm always trying to teach you at least one single thing and in exchange, you will then help me by subscribing to this channel. And in this case, that is the one thing I will teach you today. So if you just came here for a short answer, you already have it. Please go into the, to the G code and hopefully save your precious 0.2 millimeter prints just like this one. For the rest of you, especially those who might find some entertainment in listening to my most frustrating 48 hours of my 3D printing career and what seriously made me start questioning my entire life choice, uh, please do stay with me until the end, especially if you are maybe a new 3D printer just like myself or if you are a proud new owner of the Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer specifically. I don't know if, if everyone knows this, at least I had no clue. Basically how I thought that everything worked was that you go on to Maker World and you see like a printing profile and you can actually see the specific nozzle size used for that print. It, it took me like three days to actually pay attention to this. But you, you do see the printing profile, but I thought that I could just tell Bamboo Studio that oh, instead of 0 0.4, I will just switch to 0 0.2 and it would just be twice as good, simply put. So not the case. I have no idea why or how. Again, I just found the solution to my problem, which was changing this G code regarding the Z axis offset. And I should also mention before we get too deep into this nozzle rabbit hole, uh, yesterday I released a video talking about the 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and 0 0.8 millimeter nozzles, making a comparison with, with Benchies and these 3D printing tests. So if you want some more information regarding these things, after you finish watching this video, please do head over to my previous video and you will have all that information right there. But basically what happened was that I just printed the thinnest prints I have ever seen and it didn't even cover an entire layer before it then just printed in the air like no filaments came out from the nozzle so I thought that the nozzle was clogged and that was what led me on this 10 hour uh, 
goose chase is that what you say like a hunt in the wrong direction and i had no clue like nothing worked i wasted so much filament and i tried like every single combination like all the other like smaller prints seemed to work like I, we had like a, like a benchy we also had these other filaments someone said like it could probably a wet filament i don't have a, a dryer and once you start going down this like rabbit hole like i, I kind of enjoy doing like the research and and i do want to like test and try everything but i just ended up testing and trying the wrong things like all the time like so many people said it was like the nozzle was clogged i had to like take out the, the entire thing i had to like do a, like a cold plug or whatever they call it and then i tried to open up a brand new spool that i just got from bamboo lab still same issue but some prints still worked perfectly with the 0.2 millimeter nozzle and some other prints well this one which was the one that that mattered just did not work at all so yeah the first couple of hours was just doing like physical maintenance and checks on the, the physical printer then when i had literally spent an entire afternoon checking all these possible things and and driving me crazy i started to go into the settings which i thought i never had needed to do in order to like print these things again this print was designed for 0.4 millimeter and i just thought that i could just like switch it up because it has worked perfectly up until this point i have i've printed like two different like spool holders 0 0.8 0 0.4 using the same print i have done these three benches for my previous video and these were all the exact same stl file and the only thing I did was in Bamboo Lab was changing the setting from 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8. It just worked. So I thought everything should just work. So not the case. So when I did go into the Bamboo Lab studio settings, the most common thing that people told me to change was the dynamic ratio, the dynamic flow, which was a little tricky to find. And then it was the, the speed. I should lower the speed so the nozzle has more time to put out the, the, the filament. But this was also during the time when I kind of thought that the nozzle was clogged. So I it just never nothing worked. So I just had all these different ideas and, and things. And in total, it took me 10 hours of just like active like research and, and trial and error in order to figure out a way to deal with this and i can honestly say if it wouldn't have been for the purpose of making these videos i would have just given up like nine hours before because it just didn't work and if you have a 0.4 millimeter nozzle again like you don't really need a 0 0.2 if, if you don't compare it side by side don't feel like you just need to go and order a 0 0.2 millimeter nozzle as soon as possible but again i will repeat this if you are printing text small text on your prints 0 0.2 millimeter is absolutely the goat it's like it's you cannot compare and you can also never go back to 0 0.4 millimeter when you have actually seen the difference is it worth the longer printing times yes or no i would say that if you are printing overnight anyway and it doesn't matter if it takes like three hours or nine hours go with 0 0.2 all the time but for people who have not actually seen the comparison you're totally fine so you decide if, if that is a path you want to take but uh yeah, for the purpose of these videos, I uh, I do enjoy testing everything for, for you and for myself. I am so grateful that I actually went through and I found the solution because it was a game changer one, once I did. So if you have any more questions regarding 0.2mm or different nozzle tests, please do check my previous video. But again, always just leave a comment down below. Let me know what we are doing next. I am thinking about uh, doing a different plate comparison next, if that's something that, that you're interested in. And again, if any company is, is watching this and specifically want to send me some more filaments for these different comparisons and, and prints, so yeah, again, hopefully you learned something in the first couple of seconds in this video and also stayed with me through this little rant. It, it does feel like therapy, getting all of this out and hopefully it could also help someone, I guess. So I'm super grateful and please do remember the promise we have here on the channel. If you learned one single thing, for example, that I actually know how to speak Chinese, please do subscribe to uh, just support me making more interesting, entertaining and maybe just wasteful videos just like this one. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. Start with LS in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.